lovelies. So today I wanted to talk about something that actually came up in a conversation I was having in the comments with Mystery, who's one of my viewers, and she used to have a channel but she doesn't anymore, but we were talking back and forth about how I don't look depressed and things like that, and we were talking about our support systems. And today I just got this overwhelming sense of just love for my mom and I just had to go out and give her a big huge hug and just tell her that I love her and she wasn't feeling very well so that I like if there was anything I could do for her and um it just I just every time I get a sense like that I just go out and tell her and I just I was telling mystery that I just don't know where I would be without my parents well I know where I would be I wouldn't be alive first off um, well, not in the sense that they would not have, have had me, but that I would have um, ended my life because my depression was that bad. But I always kind of kept myself on this earth because I was like, my parents would be devastated, so I'm going to stay. Um, but it just reminds me of the fact that our support systems are all we have. Um, being chronically ill especially if we're stuck inside a lot or feeling depressed um, they're they actually call depression and anxiety symptoms of fibro I suffered with depression and anxiety before I got ill um, along with a thousand other things that go along with mental illness I would um, self-harmed I um, had panic at, panic attacks um, along with generalized, generalized anxiety, I'm like getting excited. Um, but anyways, uh, I just, where I am right now, and I've been talking to my friend Aiden, who I talked to you guys about before, and he's just really struggling with wanting to not be here anymore. And um, it's hard being so far away from him because I'm part of his support system. And... I'm not really a great part of anybody's support system as far as my friends because I can't really be there for them that much. I am as much as I can, but I don't know. You guys understand what I'm saying. But um, there are just those certain people in our lives that just enrich our lives and fill with hope. And you never know who it would be. I was just watching a video um, that Lori made for me the other day and I actually didn't watch it when she had sent it to me because it was back when I was like really really sick and I listened to it um, just a few nights ago and it, she said things in it that like I needed to hear like I just like I started to cry because I was like I needed to hear that because sometimes like you know the people that are around us all the time they're not gonna be like oh well God's got you because like Sometimes I'd be like, I know God's got me. Like, I'm just trying to vent, you know? Like, but sometimes I need to hear that. And um, so it's just, you never know where it's going to come from. And, like, that's why I'm always so thankful to you guys for your comments because they do that for me. They give me hope. I get really excited. Like, my whole day, nothing could excite me other than reading your guys' comments. And, um, that gets me really like that gives me a little bit of excitement and happiness and makes me smile that day um, might be the only thing that does that day um, and you know our little furry friends can give us that too so it doesn't even have to be a person it could be a little tiny chihuahua that we just love with everything we are yeah this is being silly um, yeah, so it could be a little animal, it could be your parents, it could be your best friend, it could be a stranger. My sister and I, oh, miss, like, I don't know what's going on with my eye, I apologize. Haha, <laughs> uh, did you hear that pun? But I didn't actually intend to do that pun. But anyways, just ignore this, it's been happening all day. Um, but my sister, and she's my sister from another mister and mistress, uh, <laughs> She has two parents. That's a weird saying, huh? Um, I've never met her face to face. But she is, like, in my closest circle of people that I care about, she is my sister. Like, I don't think of her as my best friend or my friend or my pen pal. Like, 
she's my sister. Like, when I talk to my parents, I'm like, oh, I talk to my sister. Like, there's no difference. I've We've known each other, talked to each other, oh my gosh, like five years? Six, six, seven years? I don't know. It's been a long time. And a lot, it's a lot, a lot longer than some of my friendships. A lot longer. I talk to her more often than family members. Um, so she means everything to me. And... Uh, when I went through my codependency and had to kind of distance myself from everyone, she was the only one I didn't have to do that with. That, like, my therapist was like, no, this is a healthy relationship and you can continue to talk. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is my one line to, like, not being completely alone. Because I was always used to having a ton of friends. Um, they just weren't the healthiest of friends. But anyways, so, I think that it's really important to open yourself up to um, friendships, to opportunities, to um, if you feel on your heart that you need to do a vlog or a blog or um, something that like gets you out there in a way that you can do that with being chronically ill, just do it. Like just do it. Like go and just do it. Like think about it later. You can always change it. You can always delete it. You can always get rid of it. Um, try it one time and if you say oh I don't like what this is doing or like you know with mystery with her taking her channel down she wasn't liking some of the comments and it was getting her confused and so she took it down like you can always do that so just try it and see what you think and you never know like who's gonna cross your path and become someone that is so valuable to you like the other night when I was so sick like I had you guys like I wasn't talking to my best friend I wasn't talking to um, a family member I was talking to you guys and like that got me through the night and um, so I just think that we should offer, open ourselves up to more opportunities like to not necessarily get out there because not all of us can get out there we are stuck in our beds or in our room or whatever it is trust me I'm coming from getting migraines every single day so I am like locked in my room um, but I wanted to let you guys know that I am collecting names of YouTubers that have chronic illness, um, talk about chronic illness, talk about fighting chronic illness, or just are awesome people that are chronically ill that have channels um, that maybe occasionally mention it, but it's not like the majority of their, maybe they do like beauty stuff, but they are someone that I know occasionally talks about that they have fibro or chronic fatigue syndrome or ME or whatever it is. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions of people, definitely put them down below. Um, and I will look at their YouTube and see if there's someone that puts out videos um, regularly or has over a period of time um, someone that reaches out to me I have to like them I'm not going to just mention them to mention them but um, but I will be doing a video with a list of um, names I did this way back on my channel and I listed people but it was very short and I've found a lot of other people that I watch regularly and have become friends with um, and so I'm really, really excited to do that, and it's been requested from you guys, from a couple different of you guys. Um, it's highly requested, oh my gosh, blah, uh, that I do that, and so I've been keeping a list of names and wanted to ask you guys one last time, because I always forget to ask you guys um, to put anybody down there if you're really interested in um, me taking a look at them. I would love to. I would really, really love to. Like, I'm not just saying that. I love finding ones because I know when I started earlier this year, it was really hard to find people. So, I will have, I will do a whole video talking about each individual person, YouTuber, and I will also, mystery, I have to take your name off the list now. That makes me sad. Yeah, I have to remember to do that. I'll talk about each individual YouTuber and then I will have a list in the down bar of their names so you can go and look at maybe one that interests you but anyways so uh in the comments down below i would love for you guys to talk about that and i would also like you to put down who your main support system is whether it be your husband or your friend or your parents or your animal or whatever it is i know it's different usually a different day but just pick one and 
let me know um, in the comments down below if you don't have someone that you watch on YouTube that has chronic pain especially. So those two things down in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Ooh. <laughs> Bella!